I think it can be scary to be lifted up into the air. Just like you one pointed out, uh, I'm a designer in the tech industry, and I run a web agency. Uh, I'm 42 years old, I'm 190 centimeters tall, and I weigh 84 kilos. And the idea of me floating around in the air can be pretty scary. But I like to challenge that fear, and we would like to show you today how that could look. You got me? I got you. She got me. <laughs> I'm lifting Tobias in an assisted backbend, and this flexion of the spine increases the blood circulation and gives Tobias a boost of vitality and energy. Often, we hold a lot of tension and fear in the chest and shoulders. When I hold him in this backbend, he expands the chest and shoulders and can release the tension and fear because he feels that I'm supporting him, holding his body on my feet. How was that? Oh, I feel really good. It was scary at first, but you got me. Good work. I'm a 26-year-old yoga teacher, and today we'd like to speak about fear. When I was a student in school, I was terrified in speaking in front of my group. I couldn't even raise my hand and speak in front of my classmates. I had so much anxiety. My heart was racing. My voice was shaking. I wanted to be anywhere but in that classroom. I gradually overcame this fear when I started teaching acro yoga because I felt so much support from my students and I was teaching and sharing something that I love. Hmm. I was afraid recently too. I was going to do a small skin operation. It wasn't a big thing at all. It would take only a couple of minutes. But when I came to the operation room, I saw the bright lights and I saw this bed. I started visualizing how the doctor would come with a tweezer and a sharp knife and just cut my skin and my blood would go gushing. I was like, I was really terrified. I felt I wanted to grab the nurse and start crying and just hold her. But I didn't, fortunately. Uh, I let the doctor do her thing. Uh, I just challenged the fear. And once it was over, I just felt so good. I wanted to go skipping out of the room. I felt light and happy. And the theme for uh, this conference is a brave new world. And sometimes when you're afraid, you have to be brave to overcome that fear. Is there anybody in this room who's ever felt fear? Anytime? <laughs> have you ever felt fear from standing in a high building or meeting the step parents? Going on a work interview or going on a first Tinder date? The truth is that we all feel fear sometimes. But does it stop us from doing things? Hopefully not. The trick is to take small steps at a time to overcome a fear with the support from the people around us. And in Acro Yoga, we work together to face our fears and we support each other. Acro Yoga. Has anybody in here ever heard of it? Anyone? A couple? What? Well, <laughs> uh, it's a mix of a couple of different things that some of you might have an idea of what they are. We might have a presentation. It's yoga. Healing arts. And acrobatics. You know the stuff people do in a circus? Toss each other up into the air. Could that really be something for everybody? Yes. <laughs> totally, that's our experience. We've had students who come who are anywhere between 1 and 70 years old, who are tall, who are short, fat, slim, in great shape, and not as good shape. They come and just have a blast. Acroyoga can be a total happiness boost. And this is a practice of trust. So we always work with a spotter. It's a third person who makes sure that the flyer is safe. When we have a spotter by our side, we feel safe and we dare to, to face our challenges. We can uh, overcome what we think is scary. We also support and strengthen others to face their fears, not only in the yoga studio, but also in other areas of life.
Acro Yoga creates community where we uplift each other. Uh, there are acro yoga communities all over the world, and we would like to create a micro acro community here tonight. So we called the person who is in this room right now and, and asked him if we could lift him up into there during the conference. He has no experience of acro whatsoever. He's 54 years old, and uh, at first he was like, nah, I'm not so interested. <laughs> But when we explained to him it was about challenging one's fears and overcoming them, he said yes. So we are super happy uh, to present our moderator here today, Johan Stahl von Holstein. <laughs> this is going to be exciting. <laughs> How do you feel? Comfortable. I trust you. That's super. <laughs> what do you feel about me lifting up in the air? I'm afraid I'm going to squash you. <laughs> I'm 10 centimeters fine. shorter and much heavier. <laughs> Don't worry. I will be spotting you, making sure that you're safe. You can come and stand here facing the audience. Yep. That's great. And Gabby will place her feet on top of your thighs, and then you will sit down just as you would on a chair. Yep. I will be spotting you, and you'll be safe in the air. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Feel a pair of feet? Yes. Super. Just sit down, just like you would on a chair. Gabby will lift you. Shake <laughs> it out. <laughs> I'm up into there. <laughs> I really believe in this. Yeah. I'm going to do a couple of presses. Oh, wow. Shake it out. <laughs> She's strong. <laughs> oh, I'm impressed. Wow. <laughs> and coming down. Wow, thanks. Super. <laughs> Round of applause for one. <laughs> <laughs> Something great about this practice is that once you learn, learn the basics, the developing curve goes fast, so you can learn to spin and float in the air. We've been practicing for a couple of years, and we'd like to show you what inspires us right now.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. It's a great honor to be here. We're so happy to be invited to this TEDx conference. Everything we learned in Acro and so many fears we've challenged is done with the support from our community. We'd like to say a huge thank you to all our teachers, students, friends, and training partners that keeps creating this inviting and playful practice. Let's keep challenging our fears, both big and small. Thank you. Thank you.